okay now we're at the AWS management console the next thing we need to do is to click on services and look for CloudWatch within this services and CloudWatch is located under management and governance and um, that's CloudWatch so we we'll click on CloudWatch to take us straight into the CloudWatch management console Okay, now on the CloudWatch management console homepage, a lot of metrics and um, information that is quite interesting here. But our focus here is on the rules, which is um, CloudWatch event. So we'll go straight to the left hand side and click on rules. So in the rules page, you can see at the moment that we have no CloudWatch rules that is created. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a rule um, that has a cron based on the cron we have in the book, and that cron will be able to stop an EC2 instance at a particular point in the day so let's do that quickly so we'll click on create rule and we'll click on the schedule so the schedule here is going to actually determine when that particular um, instance is going to be start or is going to be stopped and we already discussed that we have two kinds of triggers for our um, for our event rule so as I will use an event pattern or we are using a schedule but for this we are going to use a schedule and we are going to be using a cron expression and that current expression is going to be in a particular pattern based on the pattern recommended by AWS and that pattern will show us how frequently this instance will be stopped so I'm going to paste the pattern here and when the pattern is correct it's going to show us a couple of interesting information so it's giving us the next 10 days triggers and this trigger means that every day by 6 p.m. GMT something will happen to this instance we've not configured the target yet which is what we determine what will happen to the instance so at this um, stage we know that at every single day it's going to stop the instance this is just giving us the next 10 days as a sample but this is going to continually happen so long as this expression exists here so the next thing we need to do is to add a target to our schedule so i'm going to click on add target and on the add target we're going to look for EC2 stop instance API call. So we'll click on that. We're going to be asked to type the instance ID of the EC2 instance that we want to stop. So I'm going to use a sample instance ID I dash ABC 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. D. So you should use an instance ID that you have created in EC2 instance. And you can check the documentation to see how to create an EC2 instance but you with this it means that you have put the instance ID of your running instance and at the particular schedule which is 6 p.m. is going to stop this instance for that to be possible we need some kind of authorization and that's where this create a new IAM rule comes in so this rule will be created to give CloudWatch events authorization to trigger the stopping of the following EC2 instance so when this is properly configured we we'll create the instance and it is going to automatically stop the instance from running okay so the next thing for us is to click on configure details of this um, event rule so click on configure details and we'll type the name of this event rule so for this example we're going to give it a simple name um, for example EC2 instance stop okay and the description is actually optional we really don't have to put a description if we don't want to and the next thing here is the state so is this operation going to be enabled or not so by default is allowed to be enabled so when we are done with this all we need to do is to click on the create rule so this will create the rule automatically for us and make it available so we can see the rule in the list here we can see the message that says success rule ec2 instance stop was created and this is the status showing that it's enabled and the trigger is working it means that by 6 pm it's going to get to that instance and try to stop that instance thank you in this demonstration i'll be showing us how to configure a very simple um a basic um, cloudwatch alarm and um, the cloudwatch alarm is simply going to help you to send um, notifications and alerts when your bill gets to a particular threshold 
that you have configured so to be able to do that we should we, we need to get into the billing and billing and management console which we already are and for you to navigate there you can simply come from your um, your naming here and go to my billing dashboard and you get straight into your billing and cost management dashboard so th this gives you a summary of your bill um, expected forecasted bill for the month month till date and for the last month so if you want to be more proactive about your bills it's very essential to configure um, a billing alarm for it so for us to enable that feature we need to go straight into our so we'll go straight into our billing preferences so we'll click on billing preferences we um, are going to find the option here that says receive billing alerts turn on this feature to monitor your AWS usage charges and recurring fees automatically making it easier to track and manage your spending on AWS so you need to tick this first of all to enable this feature <coughs> in your AWS account as you can see mine is already enabled so I can't enable it anymore but if your account is a new account or you've not enabled it before you should be able to enable this so when you enable this it means that you should be able to configure alerts in your account now where are the alerts configured right over in CloudWatch so we're going to head over to CloudWatch and configure the alarm system but before going over there when when you click on receive billing alerts you need to click on save preferences for your changes to be saved so let's head over into CloudWatch um, I already opened CloudWatch in another tab here you can open it from here manage billing alerts or you can go straight up from the services and then um, go to CloudWatch um, in your um, own account so this is um, the CloudWatch management console and right over here we can see under alarms by service you can see billing as one of the services right here so this doesn't show by default unless you have um, activated it like we already talked about in the previous um, page where we said receive billing alert then the billing feature is going to appear automatically here which means you can do some stuff around billing at this point in time so let's head over to create the alarm and see how it works so right here at the sidebar we have the alarms page when you click on the alarms page we should be able to see a bunch of alarms that we have created and if we don't have any alarms it would have been blank but blank but we have some alarms here which was already created if if you don't have any alarms don't worry it just means you've not created anyone and once we are done with this you should have one in your list of alarms so to create an alarm we click on the create alarm button right over here click on create alarm and we select the metric that we need to monitor so basically in creating alarm you are going to be monitoring a specific metric which is an aggregation of logs or a lot of data that has been collected so a metric helps you to aggregate and it helps you to compress a huge um, amount of data to make more sense out of it and when you have when the data makes more sense you can then configure an alarm on that particular metric that you have configured so we're going to click on select metric right over here okay click on select metric and we're going to see a lot of metrics we can actually and pick from but our focus here is on billing but in case you want to configure metrics for any other thing for example for server metrics which is a, a custom namespace metric you see ECS container inside cloudwatch agents amplify hosting any of this you can actually create an alarm for them but our focus here is on billing so we go straight to billing and under billing we have different other grouping metrics grouping so we'll go straight into total estimate charge so we click on total estimate charge and there's something interesting here you can see that it's also grouped by service so it means you can configure an al a alarm per service in case you want to um you know tie a particular service to an estimated usage you can actually do that right over here so let's go straight into um total estimate charge and under there we can see estimated charges so what this means is if at the end of the month or during the beginning of the next month um, you, you the estimated cost is above a particular threshold you configured for your account this can o o automatically send you an alert so you know and then you can act on it during the period of the month to be able to optimize your bill more efficiently so we click on the USD option here which is more or less the only option we have right here okay 
the next thing is to click on select metric right over here select metric and um, here we are where we have to configure um, the alarm for the metric so this is pretty much the most interesting interface here because we have to you know type the name of the metric um, the currency um, we'll leave them as default and the statistics so the statistics means um, how do we evaluate this metric okay what is the method of evaluation and there are various methods of evaluation okay we have maximum here but when I delete this you're gonna find other methods of evaluation there's average there is some there is maximum minimum sample and p90 count but for this we're going to do maximum which means the highest count we find in the metric um, so the period here talks about how often do you check this um, to ensure before we trigger an alarm basically so this alarm will be triggered when the blue light goes above the red line for one data point within six hours because we specified six hours here it could be one hour it could be um, 30 seconds it could be you know one day and anything we want it to be but let's leave it at the default which is six hours so the next thing is what is the condition for the alarm okay so do, is it a static condition or an anomaly detection condition so this this uses some kind of machine learning to detect um activities and and be able to find out anomalies in that particular pattern of activity it has found over a period of time but we're not going to use anomaly we are going with a static condition and then we have um whenever the estimate changes so what is actually the core condition within that static condition is it when it's greater than a particular value or greater than or equal to a particular value lower than a particular value lower, and lower than or equal or lower than a particular value so our example here we're going to be doing greater than a value so we want to be able to get an alarm whenever our estimated charge in a month is greater than 15 15 dollars more or less okay so you can see after typing 15 it's putting a red line on 15 okay currently this is this is the lowest point we can get to but this is the highest that we are trying to aim for so what this means is if we get any estimated charge that is 15 dollars and above we are going to automatically get an alarm based on that to tell us hey your estimated bill for this month is more than 15 dollars then we can go in and act on it so let's click on next to continue um <coughs> we're using an sns topic basically for the alarm so if you don't have an sns topic you have to create one or you can select from an existing sns topic um, I'm going to come here. I have some I already have here. So I'm going to choose um, default CloudWatch alarm topic. Okay. So the same topic has no endpoints. Um, let's see if it's going to take that. I'm going to click on next. Okay. It took it. Okay. So um, we're going to type the name of our alarm. So we're going to simply give our alarm the name billing threshold alarm. Billing threshold alarm okay description here is pretty much um optional you can type any description but we're going to leave it blank and then we'll click on next so <coughs> this gives us an opportunity to review um everything we've configured here from the metric configuration to the condition configuration to the action okay of the bill to the action when and an alarm is um, triggered okay and in our in our situation here we send a notification over into sns and then we'll click on create alarm when we are satisfied with everything we see here and the alarm will be created in our aws account and here it is right here so alarms don't get activated immediately because they need to ag aggregate as much information as they can from cloud metrics to be able to know whether it's an alarm or not So that's how you create an alarm for your bills in AWS, um, thank you.